Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubarak and welcome to our 11th lecture of creating a complete marketplace system that will be available on iOS, Android platforms and website. We shall go ahead and create for it a administrator's panel. So it's going to be a, comp a complete and fully fledged system. So we've been working on the mobile app and we're still proceeding working with the mobile app. Uh, this moment we're going to resume from what I was talking in the previous lecture. And as you know, we always do 40 minutes. So I'll go ahead and start our timer. So let me get, hope we're already live. Let me go ahead and get our clock and start our today's business. Okay, so let me get a clock or is our clock? And start at this business here we go so i'll start a timer right okay so let's go straight into today's business so previously we stepped at this level we were able to list the products that we're working with offline as well as listing the products that um we've just uploaded so in the previous lecture say that you need to be able to edit we also need to be able to uh to delete and also maybe manage the photos of a product so let's finish our uh, editing logic and then after working with the editing logic we shall proceed with the deletion logic and i think the deletion logic shall proceed with the what to the manage photos logic all right and once we finish those then we shall say that okay at least for the back end we are done now we can proceed now to the front end which is the maybe the products listing and we see how the people will be able to make orders and the rest all right, so that must be, let's go straight, straight into the business. And um, I, I was having clear some error in the stock local items listing. So I have to remove these uh, items for each and then quantity, total, all those things I have to remove them. So you have to do the same to make sure that you don't get those kind of errors. Okay, so I'm going to come back here to our stock items. Okay, stock items list. This is no one stock item string list and then we're going to begin with this uh, edit okay we're going to begin with the edit logic so if you click on edit if you click on edit um we want to show you uh the photos at least we want to show you the photos that you have already uploaded for this product okay we want to show you the photos that you have already uploaded for this product so maybe on that it's where you can decide maybe to delete the photos something like that that's what we want to do Okay, so I want to show you the photo that you have already deleted. I mean that you've already uploaded for this product. So before we go there, let's first see what is being sent to us. So if I come back here, if I come back here and I try to refresh, you can see that there are this data that is coming. Uh, but let's go to where the source of this data, where the source of this data is, which is under HTTP get. So I'll go to our utils. Let's go to utils. And then to go to HTTP underscore get, and then you see what is being sent. What is being sent? Okay, so I'll come here to the success and then go ahead and print. Maybe I can here print some dashes to do what to separate the two. So in here, I'm going to display what has come. So I just simply say response data. Okay, or you can just simply do I don't know that I put that log. It is dot log so still dot log it will change that thing to uh it will enable you to to display so many uh things all right so let's go ahead and refresh now so expecting this http gate to be able to get for us the data that has come from internet so if i come and refresh you'll see um so it is loading here and then after we get the data that is coming from internet so this is the data that is coming from internet so if i come and copy this data, if I come and copy this data, and even if you go to maybe like JSON parser online, you'll be able to see that the images are not being sent. So just simply come here to JSON validator or JSON parser online, and then try to post there the JSON that is coming. Anyway, let's 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 leave this one. All right, let me just come to our Visual Studio Code. I just wanted to see what is coming back to us exactly from the web portal. All right. Uh, I've opened so many things. 
Okay. Alright, so let me come here and twist here. So you're not going to see something like images or a list of images that are well, that have uploaded. Why? Because let me just remove this thing of flat or whatever. This one that's coming from the console. So that's causing it issue. Let me just come and say flat i flatter that input. Okay, that's the one that is causing some issues. Alright, so you're not going to see you're not going to see um you're not going to see you're not going to see the images that are coming for example if you come here and get just a single if object so you see it has an id let me just come and search for this press search for this press ctrl f press alt and enter and then go ahead and search and press enter so i've just searched everywhere under the comma I'll, let me show what i've just done so i've got i've just searched for these two words okay here the comma and space i selected and press ctrl f and press alt and enter so i can make edit and then press enter so i'll have everything organized in that way so you see that this is a single object we don't have actually a place where we're getting the what the gallery okay i can see here the gallery is coming uh, i think we did it in the previous lecture well, but we could get also the what the gallery so let's see let's see uh, where we have the stock items listing where is it stock i so i'll come to api so we have the stock subcategory all right and then we have here uh the stock item i think we had added yeah we added there the gallery okay we added the gallery in the appends okay so come here to the appends okay appends we have the gallery so in this gallery what we want to do we want to be getting the photos that uh, we actually uploaded okay the photos that we actually uploaded because this gallery has been um, now that we are not the photo that did not upload so what i'm going to do i'm going to make uh these photos to be the photos that we uploaded uh by ourselves okay so let me first just a second Sorry about that. Okay, so you see that uh, the photo that we're having here, uh, we're going to append. We're going to append and say maybe this should have been multiple photos, and then those photos should be photos that are, that we actually uploaded, because the photos that we're having there was coming from maybe other uh, logic that had done before, which is something that we're not interested in right now. Okay, right now we want to do everything by ourselves and see what we've actually done. Let me show you here. Where is it? Let me see. I think it is this one here. It's another project. Make it link web. Okay, so we have gallery image. Okay, images and then the the image that has applied for that gallery. So let's go ahead and uh, see here what you have. Stock images, stock item. So this is the getter for the gallery and the setter for the gallery. All right, so we are going just going to add there another appends and we say maybe this has many images okay so you know 
we had this image model image model so we're going to do the relationship okay so in your, it is only here the create and updating so we're going to have the relationship and say it has many images so how shall we do that we shall just simply come here in the stock item in the stock item and then you say has many image model and then we shall have that public okay so it is has image model and then same has been up has uh may then say image model you put the class and then put the comma and then you say and you see here that uh, we'll have the we'll have the it is being linked by parent online id and then you have the uh id and and then on the other side will be linking it by the what by the id so that's what you put there all right so we are going to add another append called images okay or we can say maybe um, product photos, okay? And that's why we're going to be linking the image that belongs to this one from, but through the what? Image ID, and then we'll be getting it from the, the other side so of the mobile application. So I'm going to look for appends. Let me see if we have your appends. So in this appends, in this append, we're going to add one more thing. We're going to add one more thing. We're going to add, like the way we add stock subcategory text, we're going to add uh, image photos, right? So come here and add image. I mean, sorry, product photos. Okay, that's the one that we shall be using. Product photos. Okay. Let's call it that. Let's call it that. All right. Product photos. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the getter for the product photos okay so come here put all right so i'm going to just simply say public public okay public product photos okay i mean get public function get we begin the capital p product then photos and then put attribute at the end so i'm going to look through these you're going to look through these uh, photos, right? We're going to look through these photos. Okay. So as we get those through, through the, as we look through those those photos, uh, we get their URL. Okay, the image. Okay, the image. So let's go ahead and see how we saved it on the database. So come here. Come and say. So you go to our project market link. We go to image. That the image models. So we can just collect the fields that we want only, and then the other one that we're going to put in that. So let me go ahead and put these ones here. So in this one, we're going to look through this. Okay. Or you can just simply say images equals to image model where the parent online ID equals to this dot ID. You can add another O and put maybe where the parent local ID equals to that. But you can let's keep with that one. So I'm going to look through these local. I mean, we're going to look through these images. Okay. But you know each image it has each of these attributes here so i can just simply say maybe img img then we pass for example what we're interested in for example the id of that image so you can pass the id because we might need to do some action like deletion so you pass the id the created app you're not interested in it the name the name maybe i don't know that should get us the name let's see the kind of data that we're staying in the name uh, the name we might leave it. Let's leave the name Let's leave the name because we don't want to waste much of our space when you're downloading this data uh, Maybe you can get its local ID. You can get its local ID All right, let's get its local ID and the parent online ID. Maybe you can get that one parent online ID and maybe lastly we can get now the 
thumbnail we can see if we can get a thumbnail path thumbnail path and then maybe lastly uh the online image path i think that is the url now the online image path what is the url of the image let's sort here the most latest so the local id the what the what local path i want to see where i put the url of the image oh my god i think we are not saving it anywhere is it that so okay it's called you have local path that is where the image has been saved locally i think that's how we are saving it online let's see yeah we're saving it in local path hey how can we do that all right let's put your local path so local path is going to be the image url itself okay so that is the local path so i was saving actually the image or the image path press control p so that is where the image is being stored okay so i think this is enough for us to be able to uh manipulate the image from the front side okay online thumbnail i think we have not worked on that we can work on that much more late later so let's go ahead and put this this is enough this is enough i think this is enough for us to to get started let's let's let's, let's just send those ones those are enough okay so yeah so that's it so we put this one in this img uh so after we add it in this array of photos okay array of photos and then we add that img there so after doing so we go ahead and convert this into json okay so it's a json encode that was image path so it should always be kind of a string so by doing so we shall be able to get the latest images that belong to this product Okay, that belong to a certain particular product so let's go ahead and save and see what you're going to get in console so if i come here and refresh so come to the console this is what we have let's go ahead and copy what you got in the console and then come here to the new here who are putting so just some demi data come here and search for a comma and a space or f and press after an end and press enter so let's see if you're getting the image product photos you see the product photo is here it is coming and this product photo is a json of image details of that of like more images of that particular what of that particular product hope you've seen that and i hope you'll be able to get that okay so you see product photos are the photos that we uploaded for that product hope you can see that I hope you can see that all right so now we can proceed we can proceed so it means that we're going to add one more column in our what in our image uh in our what in our stock item okay we're going to add one more column in a stock item all right so we have called it product photos so let's go ahead and add it so i'll come to our stock item model stock item model what is it? Uh, stock item model. And just simply come and search here. It's this one here. Press Alt and press Ctrl and click on it. So the stock item model, I click on it. So it says I'm going to change the structure of the stock item model. I'll come here and change also and change the database name and make it to two. So I'm going to add one more column. Stock item model, paste it there. Come and uh, also add it in the JSON, I mean in the object. Okay. Come and also add it uh, in the table. That's very important. Add it in the table like that. And also let me add it here next to the upload status like this all right so after doing so after doing so what i'm going to do next what i'm going to do next is uh, is to do what is to is to is to also add it in the in the what in the local 
stock item local model okay so let's go ahead and see how we do that stock item local model press control and click on it so i'm going to change here the database table name and add maybe one then change its version because i'm going to change its structure come here and put that we go ahead we proceed and add it here in the from object all right and then we go ahead and add it here like this and then go ahead and add it here like this so after doing so we go ahead and restart our project uh -huh. so as we restart our project we're going to write the function that is going to be fetching uh the local items that's going to be converting those local uh, local i mean online photos into some kind of an object that you can be able to work with or maybe in form of urls or in form of a local image but uh in form of local image or in form of an image model that you can use to what to operate with something like that so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to come to so I'll come here to product items okay so i'm going to uh to come here and say so i'll come to the stock items list i mean stock items screen which is this one so in each item uh so we have the widget of a single item here it is or is it here it is stock item tile that's how i called it uh so i'm just going to be having here in subcategory instead of putting available quantity <clears throat> let's put also maybe uh we can put and say text can just put something and say <clears throat> online images img all right so on that <clears throat> i'm going to, to put the length of what of online image photos that length and you see if these images are actually being that are if they are actually coming just for testing purposes let's do that put here like this so if i save i'll see that i'm uh, having here some error let's try to put the expanded let me try to remove this row all right that's what we have now i've removed the row so these are the images online images so you can see this is just uh, the length the length of the images so this one has no image it has two and this one has no image it has two this one has like 400 so this one has some online images right that's last product that the last product okay so uh so i'm going to do the logic of getting uh, the online images <clears throat> And passing them to be in the form of a list that we can simply operate with. So to do that, I'm just going to simply come here to product photos. I click on it so I can go there. So just like we had the local images, remember we had local images in uh, get local images. This one here, stock local items. This one, the local images. Just like we had those local images, I'm going to create another one for that online images okay so i'm going to just simply say so we're going to just simply say this list i mean this remember we're in the, we're in the model of stock item model so this you can just say list uh list and then you put there uh local i can just simply say uh we can just local say put image model image model local it's okay we can use that one since it has almost same name parameters so i can put your online images and then we put the semicolon so this is our uh, online images right all right so after doing so i'm going to go ahead and do the logic of getting online images so i'm going to simply say pub i mean so i'm going to simply say i say get 
online online images so it's going to be working on the logic of passing that online this local photos and passing it to become a a list of images okay all right so i'm just going to when you click there i'm going to first reset this one to be empty so i'm going to check uh if 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 uh, okay let's just simply if length of this online photos is less than uh, three uh let's just put less than four because the image must have an extension so let's make less than five because our images are, are long if it has more than less it's less than five if the data that of the image is less than five i'll go ahead and return i can just say this one to be uh empty and return right all right so if it is not that i'm just simply going to say uh uh say uh, j I'm just going to say um, uh, dynamic and say uh, data like say IMG 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 data equals to JSON decode okay so you just say put here JSON dot decode can surround it with the try and catch try and catch like this mm -hmm. so i just simply say dynamic list equals to try i try to convert these photos here okay and then after trying to convert those ones and then look through them so as i look through them i say img online equals to dot add img local model dot from json and then i put this one so if it fails i can put here maybe some print and say failed pass from json images because of that okay and i put the reason there maybe i can put also maybe the image that has i mean the item that has failed to pass okay so after doing so i go ahead and do what and return like this okay so that is how i'll be passing those online images all right so let's go ahead and uh, see and let's let's call this function let's call this function on the get objects however before you call it let's change let's change this get online images let's change it let's change it uh, the widget sorry let's come here to widget and change this one. instead of putting photos let's put their online images eh? and this is so we are going to expect zero zero by beginning so you can see there is zero zero by beginning so what i'm going to do i'm going to do what i'm going to do i'm going to get online images this one get online images i'm going to be calling it when you are passing from json here okay so i'm just simply going to put here say get online images like this right like that so every time you refresh it will try to call this one automatically when you are passing it from json so if i refresh you'll see that we have now two images on top there hope you can see that you see we have here two images this one have no images and if you check in the console there's no any error everything is beautiful only that uh, this http here in http get we're trying to print unnecessary things we can first comment it this guy is trying to put something in the console that we don't need all right so if i save uh, you'll see everything is beautiful and there is no any error in there let me refresh so you see everything is nice i don't know which is printing this thing uh -huh, let's see maybe i'm printing it somewhere i don't know why it just keeps on printing that all right it's this one I think it's this guy. Okay, so there we go. 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 So we can be able to get the images. There. Can we able to get the images, right? Can we able to get the images? So let me see what this guy is printing.
transmitting for us get image URL where is it in the utils <laughs> and it is waiting for us the image URL I right, shall come to that shall come to that and he's calling this it's being called in the widget okay shall come to that okay so uh, we proceed let's let's proceed let's proceed let's proceed let's proceed um let's proceed so at least now you can see that we have an image which has this so we come to this image items uh, so let's come here image item screen so come if we come to stock item model we can now see that uh, we're able to get the images okay the local the main images okay through that get line images so you can do the same you can do the same to the uh stock local item so you can do the same to stock local item so stock uh stock item local model let's go to this stock item local model so since we have this variable we can also do the same so let me come and copy from the stock item model copy this guy so come and put here whether it's uh from json here we come and add also this guy get online items however i've not imported that function so i'll come and copy this function with its respective variable online photos and then come and add it here in, here in the local model and then go ahead and uh, do json dot uh let's json decode we go ahead and uh, import that all right so everything is okay now let's go ahead and proceed now to the editing so if i come here and say edit now i want to be able to see the images that we uploaded online i want them to be shown here so someone if they want to link their image that are already online they should be able to use this what this particular section so how shall you do that you shall just simply come to where there is uploading photos uploading product photos uploading product photos uploading product i mean updating product so it has changed to updating when you're updating so let's just search for add product images there okay so this here we go at this page so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to I'm going to come and check check where there is no images that section. I'm just going to use that very thing. So next to it there is a show bottom sheet when you click on this one, this row. I'm just going to duplicate it twice, this row. Okay. So I'm going to make another one for and then images. Let me duplicate it twice. So there we go. I'm going to put in the column because it's going to have some size on top. Uh, so I'll put in the column, just see what I'm doing, and then come on this top. Okay. Here, put this column and put here 15 inside the column. So I'm going to remove this row. I'm going to remove this first because we, we already have this button of adding image. Eh? So I'm going to remove this first one. This first one. So I don't need this one again here. So I'll remove this. Okay, so you can have full screen there all right there we go so we can just simply come here on top here and put online images okay so put uh, instead of saying add product photos you can say maybe online online images or uploaded images so it will be there all right, so I'll come here and say what well, we have expanded. So you have local images list. Uh, so I can remove this row. Oh, okay, let's leave it there. So this local images list. If I press, if I click on this local images list widget, if I click on it. You see, it is just displaying local images. So let us just duplicate it and put and create one for online image list. So I just come and copy this. Come and copy this guy. So I'm going to call this one online images list. 
online images list so uh, in here so let's go ahead and uh, now put the logic of images so here we're going to put so let's go ahead and put let's let me press control and let's first display it there so instead of putting up some online online images so instead of putting this local image I'm going to replace with online images press control and click on it so I have your online images so instead of putting here local images I'm going to put online images that's how we named it online images and then I'll come here and do list builder that's going to be online images not local images so let's go ahead and change that online images online images online images uh they still have local images so if you do like that we are going to expect of course errors because we have not put the logic of fetching the image from online so there you go so our image url is in the local path we know that okay so let me try to put here in this tab let me try to put here some text or let me try to put here some text and see uh so i've just put it true i'm going to simply put here say if it is true just going to put here, here say text and then say uh the img local path so you can see that is our image <coughs> our image what our image our image path or where the image is being stored so what we're going to do we're going to load this image so these are not going to be loaded like all local images we need to load them like part like uh, online images uh, so what we're going to do right now I remember this image it does not have a what it does not have um, it does not have the it does not have a what does not have um, the base URL okay you see it is just an image and then the name of the image which is stored online so what I'm going to do here I have a class called utils.img oh get image URL get image URL this one here you give it just the image link then it has the logic of getting for you the image link however let's revise it again so we just simply press control here what I'm going to do I'm just going to be getting the name of the image okay so the name of the image i'll just be checking first if the image is empty we return maybe the default image or the logo of the image uh, the logo of our project okay so we check if is empty or maybe check if the length is less than three because at least the image should be having okay at least it should be having four characters and above five characters and above because three extensions and a dot so if the image less than four characters they know that is an invalid image what i'm going to return i'm going to return so let's first get here uh utils dot base uh let's see they have base crl let me see where i've been deciding on uh, the base url http get so we have here app url we have app url this is the main app api url okay so i'm going to define another thing of the base url okay so if i come here and put up up underscore url up url app name so you have here the app name app url so let's go ahead and create um so this is the let's go ahead and create here what are you going to do here i'm going to put here what you call base url so going to be static final a string and call it base url base url is going to be like the main domain okay so it's going to we are going to cut this and put the main domain with the with the forward slash okay so here the app api url is going to be it's going to be um it's going to be referencing the main domain okay that's the api url so let us get also let us also make the image url so you can have uh, uh this this you can have let's make the the storage url you can have the image url and storage url okay let's just call it storage url or we can let's call it let's call storage url okay 
let's call it image url images url image images url so the image url is going to be the base url then stroke uh storage let's see how we can get for example one of the images here in public way so let me come here to our project and try to get here one of the image for example this one i get its name then i come to our project let's see how we can get it in the public side so it's, we can just simply say localhost localhost stroke what stroke uh, market link sorry market link stroke storage stroke images stroke that yes there we can get it but if you add word public public uh still you can get it i think if we can get stroke within the word public that we can get if we can get without the word public the better so it's going to be good from storage stroke images then then the name of the image okay like this so there we go so it's going to be images url stroke then storage stroke images like that all right that is going to be our images storage okay images storage and then stroke now following the image itself okay so what we're going to do now we'll we have the get well we while we're putting the get get image url we can even shorten this we can show it maybe to ing something like that. okay let's just keep it that okay so if it is less less length if the length is lower than that we're going to return so let's put here uh return uh return we'll go ahead and say um return so we'll get and put here uh images url stroke uh maybe logo dot we return our logo dot jpg or log dot logo dot png so we are going to put our logo there that we shall be returning just in case the image is not there okay so if it is there we get the last name of the image to avoid the confusion we just get the last name of the image so i can say maybe um image name just will say string image name equals to that now we check if this image is storing uh, the url if image that contains contains a, a a forward slash okay if it contains a forward slash what we shall do we, sh we are going to split it and get the last slash to be the name else the name of the image is going to be the exact name of the image you see i split and then get the last thing i split the images and get the last name so after doing so i'll go ahead and return and return the images with the image url with the image name right so that's how we can come up with that so if i refresh you'll see that now our image link is market link stroke uh storage stroke images and then the image itself you see that is beautiful all right now let's go back and we remove this so instead of saying true we can just simply come and remove this okay and so how do we call it we call it this like this okay so now it's time to present it in form of what in form of an asset so we come here where there is a uh where there is uh if the local path is empty you can say maybe there's no image okay let's come here and say instead of saying image file we're going to say uh assets asset Im i mean sorry uh network image network image just simply put your think image image and then come and put network image like this 
yeah like that later image like this okay so instead of putting just get local url just simply put uh, get image path like that okay get get url get image url like this so by doing like this at least you should be able to see the image all right so what you need here is the length the length so here has to be uh you have to be refreshing online images uh, uh, let's look let's look let's see let's see let's see so you have your positions uh, instead of local images put your online images yes 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 put your online images online images like this we're going to if you don't need even these things we're going to remove them but let's first make sure that it's representing yeah that, that is okay that is very fine you see that is very very fine all right so lastly let's go ahead and remove these other things for example these loadings we don't need them so how did you remove them because the image is already online and you see the image is presenting very properly from the online uh so let's see if we click here try to click on edit 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 ouch okay which one has images this one click on edit image yeah the images are there all right so what we're going to do here what we're going to do what we're going to do i think we need to remove these things of loading so let me see are these positioned this position everything that's about uploading see the image already online you can remove that one in the middle um yeah so maybe you can you can make the width to be uniform so let's make the width to be uniform so here have a width of the container so let's come to network image network image uh, we can give it the width this image gives width and height yeah like that and then you put feet and put uh cover yeah there we go 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 do you have any error no error okay there we go uh, i can uh, yeah i think that's okay um i think that's okay mm -hmm. so this close its position top you can make it maybe five and top make it five so it can be able to be in the middle you can make it three three all right and then uh since to the uploaded so you can make it it's heading to always be uh green i mean it's border to always be green so it's the uploaded yep ah yeah. so that's fine that is fine so the next lecture we shall begin from there where we shall put the closing like you want to delete this image when you want to delete it you click on it and then to loan you you want to delete this image and when you say yes delete it then you should go ahead and delete it from online so here i can go ahead and say maybe pick from gallery let me go ahead and pick maybe these images tap select so they are uploading properly everything is okay even if i'm editing so yeah so let me save as draft so i've saved as draft so if i refresh here this product should be able to you should be able to see it here as uh, among the products you're uploading yeah and then also those images that you uploaded we have to see them here that they are now three okay that they are now three what they are now three images Okay, I have to link them here. However, if you want to link these ones here, you can also put this condition. Um, you can put this condition here. Uh, here, you can put here a oh where, oh where, oh where. Uh, we have that thing called local item, something like that. Apparent local item. 
parent local id can say parent local id equals to local id like this parent local id equals to this local id so that one will be able to get also the images that have been uploaded but they have not been updated their parent local id so do it like that you should be able to see them here as well all right so that's it for today let's begin from there tomorrow in the next lecture and we see how we can now work on the deleting these online the online images so once you have a good functioning form that someone can upload the products freely we can be able to come up with now a good front end where someone can be able to also have a lot of uh, exploration when they are doing work when they're checking out okay that's it for today guys goodbye see you in the next lecture unless there is uh, a question i think there's no question see in the chat this thing is still uploading there's no question okay Okay, goodbye. See you in the next lecture. Top, I've been recording. It has not been recording.